how can we find value of a trigonometric function without using table so dear students first of all we have to express given angle as a multiple of 90 degree so we take angle and divide it by 90 99s are 810 and 45 is remainder it means given angle can be written as 9 multiplied by 90 plus 45 now dear students we have to do three things first we have to decide about sign of given function number two we have to decide about status of given trigonometric function and dear students number three we have to find value of given trigonometric function so first we decide about sign of given function and dear students it is done with the help of cartesian plane this is cartesian plane our angle is minus 855 degree here minus means we have to move in clockwise direction so 360 degree 720 degree 810 degree and 855 it means 855 belongs to third quadrant where 10 and its reciprocal cot are positive and remaining all other trigonometric functions are negative our function is cot which is positive here so here sign is plus now dear students we decide about status of given trigonometric function and dear students it is done by watching multiple of 90 degree remember if multiple of 90 degree is an even number then function does not change and if it is an odd number then function changes according to this detail now dear students as per this detail sin and cos mutually interchange tan and cot interchange and secant and cosecant mutually interchange now in this case multiple of 90 degree is an odd number so cot changes into tan also here we leave 90 degree and its multiple and take this extra part only now dear students in third step we use trigonometric ratios of 30 degree 45 degree and 60 degree to find value of given trigonometric function here we have got tan 45 degree and value of tan 45 degree is 1 so here we write 1 it means value of given trigonometric function is 1 so dear students that's how we can find value of a trigonometric function without using table now dear students for better understanding we discuss one more case and here we are given cosec 2040 so first of all we take this angle and divide it by 90 so 92s are 180 again 92s are 180 and 60 is remainder it means given angle can be written as 22 multiplied by 90 plus 60 now dear students we have to do three things first we decide about sign of given function so this is cartesian plane angle is 20 40 angle is positive so we have to move in anti-clockwise direction so first round 360 second round 720 third round 1080 fourth round 1440 fifth round it becomes 1800 then 1890 and then dear students it becomes 1980 and 2040 belongs to third quadrant now dear students in third quadrant tan and its reciprocal cot are positive and remaining all other trigonometric functions are negative our function is cosec which is negative here so sign here is minus now dear students second thing we decide about status of given trigonometric function with the help of multiple of 90 degree now as multiple of 90 degree in this case is an even number so function does not change but dear students we drop 90 degree and its multiple and take this extra part only now dear student third step where we use trigonometric ratios of 30 degree 45 degree and 60 degree to find value of given trigonometric function so we have got cosec 60 degree and its value is 2 over square root of 3 so in place of cosec 60 degree we write 2 over square root of 3 and dear student this is value of given trigonometric function so dear students that's how we can find value of a trigonometric function without using table hopefully dear students you people have understood this technique completely so dear students till next video lecture take special care of yourself thank you very much